it's me again, Rachel Henderson. I'm back with Fulton Now. Strap in your seatbelt, because this is going to be a crazy ride. Here in Fulton County Schools, we love community collaboration. And there just so happens to be one special group of people who exemplifies that in our schools every day. That's right, I'm talking about our volunteers. The Volunteer of the Year Luncheon was a perfect storm of thinking, honoring, and celebrating the people who help us meet our goals. 90 volunteers from our schools were honored for their outstanding dedication and commitment. There were prizes, awards, lunches, smiles, and hugs. We filled the Georgia Tech Hotel and Conference Center with good vibes, and we couldn't have done it without all of our terrific volunteers. Despite what Disney movies tell us, some days it's hard to be a kid. A lot of students have had experience with depression, anxiety, or other mental health concerns. The good news is that awareness is climbing, the stigma's declining, and help is available. Fulton County Schools hosted an open discussion with parents and experts at Tri-Cities High, talking about when and how to seek help. Come by Centennial High in April, where Fulton County Schools will host a free documentary screening about anxiety, with a panel discussion after. Keep up the good work, grown-ups! Apparently it's the future now, and nobody bothered to tell me. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Fulton County Schools just hosted its 11th annual hovercraft competition at Banneker High. Engineering students from across FCS high schools and middle schools competed to crush the laws of physics. Tri-Cities High School won first place for speed and performance, Chattahoochee High won first place for best qualifying time in a straight line race, and also first place for best design. I know what's going on with my next birthday wish list. In order to be a good board member, one must know all the words to the wheels on the bus go round and round. The wheels on a bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, the wheels on a bus. No wait, that's not quite right. In order to be a good board member, one must know what's going on in the school district. Board members took a bus ride to four South Fulton County schools to see firsthand how teachers and staff keep our schools running so successfully. Dr. Jeff Rose and his senior staff took board members to Liberty Point Elementary School, Bear Creek Middle School, Creekside High, and Westlake High. What I hope every board member left with a takeaway today is that all of our schools deserve the equal opportunity that we have for all of our students and to see the great work that we have in our elementary, middle, and high schools. I bet they wish it was a hovercraft tour instead. Banneker High School band students were devastated to find out that the band program at their school had been shut down due to budget cuts. Except, here's the kicker, it wasn't. A proud former graduate came by to let the kids in on the joke and also donate $5,000 for new band uniforms. Oh, and that proud former graduate just so happens to be ludicrous. Just continuing the Banneker spirit, making everybody just understand that we all working together to continue to progress this school and everybody in it and get the graduation rate up. And I'm very proud of everybody here, and this is why I do the type of things that I do. And that wasn't the only surprise either. After the hugs, selfies, and tears of joy, Ludacris also announced that Banneker assistant principal Ramon Garner had been named assistant principal of the year for the South Learning Community. I think it's safe to say that Banneker has earned their bragging rights. That's all for today, guys. Now we can finally get some rest because spring break is here. I'll see you guys later.